peace and blessings. It's Mark the Messenger. Peace and blessings, mercy upon all y'all. This one's gonna be about the chosen ones, God fearing people, children of the Most High God of Israel, followers of Christ. Your absence will affect people. Why will that happen? Because sometimes, guys, you were the only light in their life. Like I always tell you guys, your energy is contagious, your spirit is contagious, your vibe is contagious, everything about your aura is contagious. Because when they get closer to you, they feel more alive. What's inside you, they're lacking. You have the Holy Spirit. They don't know what they don't, they probably don't know what they're in their conscious, but they, that's what they need as well, too. That's why they're always thinking about you. But see, these people have the same opportunity just like you do to seek the Father in spirit and truth, to be seeking after his heart, to be doing the will. They have the same opportunity as you, but they're choosing to operate on the other side. They're choosing to be slothful. They're choosing not to operate in faith. They're choosing to live in fear. You're choosing eternal life. You're choosing the narrow path. As a chosen one, you're choosing the, right, the, the set apart way. You're choosing to pray, meditate on the, the, the word, on meditate on the word. I'll make that very clear. Now on the new age of stuff. Okay, you're, cho you're chosen to fast. Okay, you're chosen to keep, uh, keep his law, statutes, and commandments. That's what they're lacking. Okay, everything you're doing, you're a light. You who keeps commandment is a light. So you're a light into their life. And just because, guys, they, they ain't hitting you up or checking up on you, they, you will always have a place in their heart. They will always remember you for the rest of your life. Understand, we're, we're the set-apart ones. We're the 1%. I wouldn't even say it's 1%. We're like 0.001, bro. In this last days, many people are choosing the other path, the broad path, that wide gate that leads to destruction. Remember, what you have inside you, they're lacking. This is why they could hate on you one day and the next day they want to be your friend. They, the spirit got the best of them. The demons use their vessel to attack you. Now, a couple days later, you know, they're like, oh, dang, you know, why did I do that? It's because a demon entered in them. Because when, 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 the, when, the, when, a, when Satan sees someone in darkness trying to get closer to the light, should I do the right thing? That person got to be very cautious because spiritual warfare is going to take place. Okay, Satan doesn't want his uh, his people. Not to say his people. Satan doesn't want the people in the kingdom of darkness to leave and you know get, get into the light to have Christ inside them to accept the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is going to empower you. The Holy Spirit is going to is going to give you discernment. It's going to show you the way, the truth, and the life. He doesn't want people to see that. So when people are gravitating towards the light, they get attacked. They're weak. But see, us chosen ones. We fought the devil. We overcame the wicked one. And they're weak. They're not strong enough as we were. Now, like I said, everyone has the same opportunity. When we, when, when I, I can't speak for everyone else, but when I fought, when I was becoming the chosen one, when God's calling me, I went through hell on earth, bro. Spiritual warfare like crazy. I had a whole bunch of demonic strongholds. I had a whole bunch of spirits I was fighting off. Whether through relationships or friends, family members, <laughs> you know. Because even the Bible says that your enemies will be in your own house. So all this I was fighting. I never lost faith. I never I never gave up the faith. That's the most important thing. Okay? I kept the hope. I kept the charity and I kept the faith and I preserved through that. Now now I'm bearing fruit. Okay? Your absence is always going to affect people as a chosen one. Always even if they slander you, they hate on you guys, they're always going to remember you. You were the only light in their life. You were the only one. Always, there's always going to be something special about you that stands out for, from the rest of the people. And whether it's your energy, your vibe. Remember, we're all spirits. Some people got demonic spirits. Some people got, you know, godly spirits, righteous spirits. When you got a righteous spirit, people like to be, that's a good vibes, good energy. And when you got the Holy Spirit, now people who have demons in them, they're going to get bad energy, bad vibes off you because the demons are deceiving them to make you feel like you're counterfeit, you're fake. But please understand that your absence will always affect people. But you got to understand this too. Just because it affects people, some people might want to come your way, come back to your life. And just you stay prayed up because not everyone has your best interests at heart. Okay? You got to pray for these people that they find the path just like you found the path as well too. You know, because like I said, guys, not everyone's strong enough. Not everyone's strong to, to walk the path that God chose you to do. But everyone has that same opportunity. They had the opportunity too, guys. Like I said, when you become a chosen one, you got to go through hell on earth. You're going to get attacked. 
You're gonna lose things. You're gonna lose things as well. These people, guys, the people who miss you for your absence, being a chosen one, they're not trying to lose things in this world. They're not trying to lose friends, family. They're trying to still seek the validation of this world, this world that's passing away. You know, we all know the less, um, what's that scripture that says, says that less, the less pass away, but he who does the will of God abides forever. All this stuff, all this vanity stuff that people are seeking, trying to get validation for, it's all vanity, it's vain. What are you doing for God? And it's unfortunate that people won't realize this until the, you know, in the death ca uh, casket. People won't realize, you know, the real true meaning of life. It wasn't about how much money you made. It wasn't about how much uh, followers or subscribers you got. Yeah, that don't mean she, it don't, it don't, that's BS. What did you do for God? It don't matter how much of a high, high value man, high value woman you were. It doesn't mean nothing, bro. If it wasn't linked to God, it's vanity. There's even people, guys, I'm telling you, man. I have so many friends that when I was in the world, they, when I came to Christ, all hated on me. I don't know why. Like I said, I know why. Demons using them. You know, but it was like, it kind of caught me off guard because it was like, well, I thought people would be happy for me. I put the blunt down. I thought people would be happy for me. I stopped selling, you know, weed. I thought people would be happy for me because I gave up my wicked ways. But no, they hated on me. Fast forward two, three years later, the this, this same people trying to hit me up. Mark, I miss you, bro. It's been a long time. Even though they were casting stones at me for no reason, I did nothing to them. If anything, some of these people I helped from, no one helped them, but I was, you know, the light, I was the only light in their life, helping them when no one else was helping them. S slandered me, hating on me. These same people, bro, hating me back up. Mark, I miss you, bro. Like, let's chill. Something like that. Your absence is always going to affect people, bro. Always. Like I said, you were the only light in their life, man. You were willing to do the work and they weren't. Or maybe, or maybe this too. They weren't called yet. Because the Bible does say many are called, few are chosen. I was called at the time. Maybe they were called. Maybe God was using me to call me to help them be called too. To understand the path what we got to go. Because the path that we were on prior to me being called was, was going to hell. You know, going to the lake of fire, being a warmonger, that's, that's lake of fire. You know, that's where I was going to go. But thank God for Christ, the calling, me humbling myself, accepting my error, my wrongdoings. You know, and like I said, I got attacked crazy and you're going to get attacked as well, too. It's just a part of being a chosen one. No one said it will be easy. You know, the Christ said you have to endure, you know, afflictions and you got to be ready for prosecutions. If everyone's if if you suffer for um, the Bible says, if you are suffer for if you if you follow Christ, you're going to suffer prosecution. I'll leave that verse somewhere here. I don't want to say that verse wrong, but I'll leave it somewhere here. And so you just got to understand that. And when the people miss your absence, don't be so, because there's times where I got, I brought this people back in my life, even though God showed me. I'm telling you, God always shows his children, bro. He always shows you that these people are, are, are counterfeits. Always. And they come back in my life, and the next day, they hurt me again. They hurt me. Or like a female. You know, because not just with friends, too. It could be uh, it could be your, you know, ex-relationships. They, they miss you, bro. I'm telling you, they all miss you. You were the light in their life. They're always, maybe they're not miss you every day, but they're going to think about, dang, like, I, I, you know, I wonder how Mark's doing now. I wonder how so-and-so is doing now. You know, because when they're, when they're stuck in darkness, you know, when Satan's taking over them, they're going to remember the way, the truth in life that, that, that you put them on, but they, they rejected it. They're going to remember that. Damn, I would have listened to him. Just like many people would have said before they die, damn, I should accept Christ as, as my Lord and Savior. Damn, I should have followed the most high uh, law, strategy, commandments. Damn. They're going to say it when it's too late, bro. Because many people have surrendered to Satan. Many people are, are enjoying his rewards because the devil could, you know, bless you too. Which is blessings are just lead to cursing. Curses. Many people, man. And like I said, it ain't worth taking them back, bro. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't man. Now, hey, if God's leading you to take them back, then do what you got to do. But my experience is... I, I wouldn't because like I said what's inside you they're lacking they refused it they refused the Holy Spirit they refused to give their life to God that's why you know you're that light in your life and, and, and guys people are watching if you're a chosen one best believe man people are watching you from all everyone everyone's watching you bro some people are watching you to, to, to waiting for you to fall <laughs> not knowing that the most high uplifts you so you'll never fall you know unless like you allow pride into your heart because pride does come before destruction you, you fall into your own snares, your own disobedience. So that could happen too. But they're waiting there. So there's people waiting for you to fall. 
or there's people waiting for you to rise up, waiting for you to be blessed. It goes both ways. They're either watching you for, you know, just like they watched Jesus. They were waiting for him to fall. The Pharisees were, you know, they were just waiting. Devils. Someone's on the right path. Someone should uh, uh, elevate, uh, lead his people to the right path. And you got people waiting for him to fall. That's demonic. These people were demonic. Devils. Children of Satan. That's what they were. That's what Christ called them. And you got to understand this too. That these, not to say all of them, but these people who admire you, they're also children of, of Satan as well too. Not all of them, but some of them are too. Some of them are just doomed for destruction, vessels of destruction, fitted for wrath and destruction. Some people call it NPCs, organic portals, whatever you want to call it, soulless beings. That's what some of them are. Okay, they had the chance. God, and sometimes guys, the chosen one, God will place people, God will place you in, in certain people's life to be a light to them to lead them. Most people reject it. Most people reject. You know, you 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 instructing them, you being like a uh, like a mentor to their, to their life. They reject it. Now they're, you know, back to the old ways. And two, three years later, now they try to come back to you. Oh, I'm sorry. This and that. It's like, nah, bro. Like, uh, hey, you had the chance just like I did. What's inside you is lacking in them. That's why they, they're trying to feed off of you. Trying to feed off your spirit. Feed off your energy, your vibes. Don't let them do that. Don't let them. I'm telling you, bro. Don't. There's many times, guys, where I did that. And these people, you know, hurt me again. Drained me again. I'm not even talking about people. I'm talking about man, man who you know, I, brothers who I, I consider a brother who I love, they, you know, turn their back on me. Cause Satan entered in them, and Satan manifested in them as well too. That they were the tares among the wheat. And they look just like me, just like us. It's like the wheat and the tares. They look similar, but when the harvest comes, you could tell because a, a wheat it stands up. No, sorry, sorry. A wheat bends down. A tear stands up. A tear is arrogant, prideful, all about himself. The wheat bows down the towards God. You see how God, the God's creation. You see how God created things, man. All in par That's why Christ spoke in parables to so understand better. All right. The the saying children, prideful, arrogant, don't want to show no love. They watch the whole video, ain't gonna click the like like button. They made it this far, and they ain't gonna click the like button. They ain't gonna show no love in the comments. They ain't gonna hit the subscribe button. But they're just gonna watch. Satan's children. Okay, they can't love. They can't show no love. They can only watch you from a distance. So like I say, guys, what's inside you is lacking in them. That's the main reason. It's the main reason. And I know there's a huge exception. People calling themselves chosen ones without the Holy Spirit. These people are deceived. Satan deceives the entire earth. Okay, they, they miss you. Your vibes, your energy, your aura, your spirit, bro. Your soul, you had a good, you had everything was just vibrating in your life. They felt better around in your presence. They felt good around you. They felt more alive. When you're a chosen one, people will feel more alive around you. A lot of people are spiritually dead. You're spiritually alive. You're spiritually elevating every single day. These people, they, they, they're they harvest, you know, feeding off your energy. And there's nothing wrong with someone feeding off your energy when it's done in a righteous way. There's nothing wrong with that. The thing is, when people feed off your energy in like a negative, you know, like they're just trying to just feed off your energy and just run off on the plug. That's what most people do. And it just, you know, drain you and, you know, say goodbye, you know, peace. Hurt you, play you, stuff like that. Lie to you or, you know, cheat on you or try to kill you. Set you up. Agents. All these people are agents, man. So I hope you guys learned from this video. I don't want to make this too long. This is pretty much, guys, your presence, your, your absence will affect them because what's inside you, the Holy Spirit is lacking in them. These people rejected the calling or maybe they haven't been called yet. I hope you guys learned from this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.